Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of my player career mode and today we will be going into the first leg of the semi-finals of the Champions League. If you missed the last one, you'll have missed the El Clasico that led us here, so go back, check it out, because we played two El Clasicos against Real Madrid in the Champions League and let's just say you don't want to miss them. Right, straight into the action today, we've got two post-com games for you guys to see and then we jump to the live for the other games. So first up was Real Betis on our quest to secure the La Liga title. Thing is, guys, we were pretty much all but there anyway. We just had to win our, well, win this game here and then draw the next one. And no matter what would happen with Real Madrid, we were, we were champions. So, went into game against Betis. We took the lead. Leon Goretzka with the goal inside the first half. Then we got on the score sheet after 60 minutes, smashing in with a right foot to make it 2-0. Really like this goal as well because we had to work it so good in order to find the back of the net. And uh, the celebration as well was pretty cool to see us all in line. Doing a little dance there to celebrate that. And it pretty much secured the first win that we needed. So I was quite happy with this. And just so you know, I'm only going to be showing you the goals that we did and the, you know, kind of big chances, I guess you could say, from these games. And then with 12 or so minutes left, we were able to find the third. I mistimed this really badly, but somehow the ball still went in the top corner and we beat the goalkeeper. Like I said, I mistimed it. I don't know how on earth it went in. I'm not even going to question it. I'm just glad that it did go in. So we got ourselves a brace, taking us, I do believe, to 31 for the season, which is now we're over that 30 goal mark. I'm pretty happy to say the least. And we won the game 3-0, which took us into the first win that we needed to secure the title, which means when we take on Sevilla for this next game now, we only needed the draw to secure the league title. That's all we had to get out of this game because Real Madrid were 15 points behind with five more games to go. So, you know, 15 points to play for, in essence. Um, worst case scenario, they win, we draw. It goes to 13 points, and there's only 12 to play for. So, all I was thinking is, don't lose. And we got fairly unlucky to go 1-0 down. Severe with the opportunity after three minutes from the corner. I had to show you a replay of this one as well, because when you actually take a look at this, the shot came in. It took a deflection off another Severe player in the box, and that was the reason that it beat to Stegen in goal. I was sat there going, eh, well, what can we do? Yes, we're unlucky. But at the same time, uh, sometimes you just got to hold your hands up and say, that's what happened, sadly. So we continued on anyway, looking for an equaliser. And after 15 minutes, we got one. A nice move again for our 32nd of the season. Turning on the inside, getting into the penalty area and smashing it low into that bottom corner with the left foot. To pull us back on level terms and celebrating by punching the corner flag in the process. I really like the skill move again. Similar to our first one against Betis, we had to work the space really well. Not given too many opportunities, so it was all about taking the players on and getting past them. And the finish was quality. We weren't really ahead for too long because a matter of minutes... Oh, sorry, we weren't actually back on level terms for too long because a matter of minutes before Sevilla put themselves back in front. Another deflected goal. Would you believe it? In the space of 20 in-game minutes, two deflected goals for our opponents here. I could not believe what I was seeing. Shaking my head would be an understatement. How do you have two deflections and it both happen and go in at the same game? Wesley this time with it. And it was just one of them days, it seemed like, for Barcelona. And we were closing down the clock. And it just seemed like the thing just wouldn't happen for us. We turn on the inside, get the shot away. So close to finding the equaliser with 20 minutes left. And then another chance this time from a corner. Peeled deep towards the edge of the area. The cross comes in quite there. Headers goalwards. I'm thinking this is off in the back of the net. But sadly... No, no cigar. It's five minutes to go and Sevilla look to be spoiling the party before it's even begun, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, all this does is effectively make sure that we have to wait another game to secure the title. Or so I thought, because we got very lucky with two minutes to go. An unlikely goal scorer, Jimenez, pops up from centre-back with the goods, with a sensational goal. Two minutes to go. And at this point, the party had started, my friends. We were ready to lift this league title because, remember, this means absolutely nothing. Or rather, Real Madrid's game means absolutely nothing, I should say, because a draw here would do it for us. So I was just so glad to get that goal. We worked so hard to get it. However, there was tail for one more twist, and it was here against them. And with the last kick of the game, pretty much, ball whipped in. Wesley wrong side, Jimenez, or one of the defenders anyway, inside the box. Not sure who it was. And immediately after that, after getting the goal, fighting so hard to do it. Sadly, Sevilla pulled themselves back in front. <sighs> so unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, how can you even sit there and say that this was going to happen? You know, two deflected goals. And at this point, we didn't know what Real Madrid's scoreline was. We were sat there. The players didn't celebrate. So 
I assume that that wasn't it, sadly. And it's going to have to wait until we go into game against Atletico Madrid to win the league title. But we got out of game and found that Real Madrid also had dropped points, which means we are the Liga champions and we secure the title in not a fashion that I wanted to by losing the game. But whatever's whatever. We move into live, though, guys, for the rest of today. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, how about that for a game? Sevilla 3, Barcelona 2. I thought after that, that was title dreams over until we faced Atletico. Um, but as you guys saw, we actually did win it. Madrid dropped points, which meant we went on to win the title, even though we lost to Sevilla. But a crazy game against them. When Jimenez smashed in that goal with two minutes to go, I thought that was it. I thought we were going to win the title, but... We still did anyway, luckily, but of course, winning it or drawing the game would have meant we secure it without having to worry about a result elsewhere. That result, as I said, was good for us, though. Now we move into Atletico Madrid in the first of the two live games for you guys to see. Following this is the first leg of the semi-finals Champions League against Valencia. We first take on Atletico Madrid. Title secured. It's all about just continuing our dominance, enjoying our football. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in regards to playing every single game left in La Liga. I don't think I'll play all of them having secured the title and that kind of thing. But I guess we'll just keep going and, and see what happens. At the moment, I'm not even sure how many goals are on, but all I know is we are smashing it right now. Scored two against Betis, was it? And uh, did we get one against Sevilla? So three already in the episode. Not too bad at all. And although we're treating this as kind of like a bit of a warm-up for that game, we're still very much wanting to win it, no doubt about that. We have to have the bragging rights in every regard in La Liga. Just noted as well, Coming into this game, Valencia sits seventh currently in La Liga. So, by all accounts, you would say we're by far favourites, but it's never the case. As already a cross put in, Jimenez defends well on the score sheet last time out. Now he's doing a bit of defending and hold on a second because Malcolm with pace. What did I just witness? Like, what was that? <laughs> he could have just continued running. I don't. I didn't even ask for the pass, so I'm not taking the blame. And we'll see if Gelson Martins is going to do different to Malcolm. Not quite, but at least his ball's worked out. And I believe that's offside. Yep, Atletico Madrid have the ball in the back of the net. But it is rightfully offside here after 10 minutes. Same scenario as what we had with Malcolm. Except he decided to play the pass when he should have run. Gelson Martins' ball. Oh, look at that. Incredibly close there. But the offside flag goes up. And it is saved Barcelona's skin. Because it could have easily been 1-0 that. Wow, that was close. Saul, Lamar, finding Johnny. Offside flag stays down this time. And the cross is in. And Christensen, got to be honest there, I didn't feel he was actually going to win that. It looked for the second like it was going to be in the back of Barcelona's net. But Christensen sticks a leg out and does well enough to keep it. Cucurella's ball for us to chase now as well as we turn on the inside of Atletico Madrid. Coutinho's making a run. We found him as well. Philippe Coutinho hits the woodwork for Barcelona. Chances either side. And uh, we nearly put it in the back of the net for 1-0. Our turn into feet. We spin. We hit the shot. Whew, how close is this to going top corner? I don't use for their shots as often anymore. And there is a reason for that. Because they're not as good as they once were. But it's not too far away at all. I mean, we haven't had a lot to work on. So I just thought, why not try it? Try our luck, really. Because first half goes. It's not been many chances here. So we just had to try and work it. I mean, the game has actually not been bad either. The quality, as I say, has just been poor there. Quality's actually been pretty good. It's just chances to very far and few between. So if I get the opportunity to shoot, I'm just going to try. At least my intention of winning the back. The ball as Lamar will shoot and to Stegen will save. I thought I had to do it, guys, because I lost the ball. Therefore, it's within sort of my, I guess, responsibility to win it back. Luckily, they haven't crafted a chance to Stegen. Look at the space I've got on this right-hand side. As to Stegen sends it. Unfortunately, that space very quickly closed up. Malcolm now finding the ball back to Tete. Tete trying to hit it line and it's gone. Seconds remain now of the 90 here. Cucurella, that's Paul from Barcelona. Second remaining and they play it back. Anyway, 0-0 draw against Atletico Madrid. We're not going to get on the score sheet there. I said to you guys that I felt this game was going to be fairly, you know, even. I mean, if you look at the actual results and the match facts, it shows. Like, a lot of the ball for Barca, a lot of the ball in good areas. And neither side able to find a good opportunity to put the... Uh, the cross, the pass, the final ball into a decent area. A lot of it was poor from both sides today. But we move on onto the final game for today, which is going to be Valencia in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Wanting a much better performance here. Are we at home or away first? We are away first at the Estadio Mestelia. And we go into this one. High hopes, high confidence, feeling good. We'll see if the, uh, the gameplay and the way we play is going to rub off on that one. 
The side looks good as well. I'm, uh, I'm quietly confident about this. We'll see. I need an away goal, I think. We smashed Real Madrid at the uh, Santiago Bernabeu last episode in the away leg. Absolutely battered them there. We're going to try and do it again here against Valencia. And as if there wasn't enough riding on Valencia versus Barcelona usually in La Liga, there is even more tonight as it is the Champions League semi-finals. And you guys saw, I showed you the team. We went through it last time and I spoke about the players they had, the quality they've got. Still very much remains the same. So tonight's game plan, get that away goal that was may pay so dividend in the, uh, in the second leg and then just try and defend basically. So... Yeah, I mean, immediately we've got to defend here. That's offside. Stegen saves it. It's not offside. Offside flag stays down. Valencia, big chance inside five minutes. Wow. I genuinely thought it was offside, but they must have timed it to perfection. And in the end, to Stegen pulls off what can only be described as a massive save here. Valencia draw the first shot of the game. And it could have so easily been them taking the lead here. Ball over the top for Sterling to chase. And Coquelin heads out. Now it's Barcelona's turn to attack. Raheem Sterling plays the short one back to us. As I said, dropping a little bit deeper, just outside the box of Celso. Not going to get on the ball after winning it off of us, but we still have possession here. Kessia, nothing silly, don't lose it. That's the big thing we've got to do tonight, protect the ball well. Fabinho lays it towards Goretzka, who takes a nice touch out wide. And now we're going to find the ball out towards Tete. Calabria, sorry, puts the cross in deep, and we arrive on it. And that was a chance. Offside flag stays down like it did for Valencia's first. I was put off by the jumping challenge from their defender. And I didn't catch the volley right at all. It's a big opportunity that as well to at least test Neto, if anything. And we waste it. Dembele on the turn. Finding the ball back to Fabinho. Back to Dembele. Lovely football, Barcelona. Dembele crossing. And again, it's Valencia who hook it clear away. But you can see Barcelona beginning to get a bit of confidence and keep the ball in and around really good areas against Valencia here. Kessia. Now Sterling finding us edge of the area. Shot comes in and we find the top corner. Valencia nil, Barcelona one. And after 20 odd minutes in the game, we lead here at the Estadio Mastelia. Running over to Valverde. And it's Barcelona who strike first. Get in. There's the away goal we wanted as well. The finish instead. Not one that we're used to seeing. But when we need us the most, we provide the goods. Won back by Fabinho. Sterling lays it off. One touch there with the right foot. The second to find the top corner. And it's tremendous to see indeed. I mean, look at this. Just when you want a bit of quality, we find it. That's an incredible strike. Get in. And we lacked that against uh, Atletico Madrid moments before. Certainly not lacking it here against Valencia, who have had a pretty poor start to this game. Giving the ball away again in a pretty bad area for them to give it away. If Goreska can find us, we're inside the box again. We'll have to be right-footed, though. We get the shot away and get a second chance at it. And it's 2 0 Barca. In a space of two minutes, Valencia are two down. And we run the pitch shushing. Or oh, I think thumb-sucking, actually, in the end, that was. I don't really know what that celebration was, but all I'll say is Valencia caught napping twice. It's pretty unfortunate. They blocked the ball first, but as soon as it falls back to us in the box, it's too easy for us to find that same corner. Not only have we got one away goal, we've got two. Three minutes between the goals, or largely probably two actually, because obviously it takes the minute we're in. I don't even know how on earth we've just turned this to be a 2-0 lead. Valencia shaken here, or shook I should say. And it is already an uphill battle for them. I mean, they started off so well, didn't they? That chance early on. They'd have scored that. You can't help but think maybe this would have turned out differently for them. At the moment, they need to find their heads because they've lost it a little bit. Immediately here, Kessie going to find for Fabinho. And he lays it again towards us. And immediately, it's chance number two. Brought down referee. Is there going to be a card in here? It looks like it. Valencia losing their heads here. Sterling now getting involved to win it back as we do a couple of step overs and get round to Valencia again. As we drive in towards the penalty area and still, and still on the ball here. Tried to do a little bit too much. But it's going to fall for them. Bele finds Goretzka. Goretzka, Fabinho. It's three, Barcelona. It's over. Valencia do not know what they are doing here. The pressure seems to have got to them at the Estadio Mastelia. And their home fans cannot believe what they're seeing. Three down after 40 minutes. In fact, we're not even into the 40th minute. And Fabinho has surely sent Barca through to a Champions League final. We battered Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu last time out. We are doing it again away from home in the Champions League. Valverde happy. I'm happy. This is great. 
And we're still in the first half here. There's still time for this to get even worse for Valencia. Dembele found by us as we drive forward again. Dembele dispossessed though this time. But where is Aaron Martin going with the ball? He just has to play it to his centre-back and hope that he can smash it clear, which he has done actually in this particular part. Fabinho, why is he sending that backwards? Not the area you want it, mate. La Celso to Morata for shot. And it comes back to Silva. And again, to Stegen saves it. That's the difference so far. To Stegen has made two very good saves to deny Valencia. And had them have gone in, it could have been 3-2. Instead, it's 3-0. And it goes down to our goalkeeper. Here is Dembele. Dembele trying to find another one for Barcelona. Cleared away. Headed out by Valencia. And now it's time for them to build Andre Silva to Morata. Who's been yet to get into the game. Alvaro Morata neither has this man. Soler on the right-hand side. Fanny Coquelin delivers it. Guedes again. Another one. But he wins the flick on this time. It's smashed. Hooked. Cleared away from Barcelona defensively. I think this half will most likely be them trying to see the game out. As Guedes picks it up again for Valencia. Finds Morata. Morata turning. Finding the pass. And that is poor. It's onside as well. Another chance for Valencia goes begging. Here is Soler, ball inside. Andre Silva, that is his third or fourth chance of this game I've counted so far. And again, it's poor. From a man you'd expect better. Soler coming off as well. That's a poor decision, I'd say. For me personally, I'd be bringing off one of the strikers, possibly maybe even Coquelin, trying to find something back in the game. Torres coming on in his place. But Andre Silva tonight has had so many chances and he's put them... Nowhere near what he should have done. And right now, for Valencia, you're looking at Guedes. You're looking at a couple of other players to become the difference makers. We find Dembele, who finds Kessia. And it's game, set and match here. What a move from Barcelona. That's the tie over and done with, I think. 4-0 at the Estadio Mestelia. Valencia well and truly beaten. And their fans cannot believe it. <laughs> Imagine this. Who would have thought it was going to be 4-0 before we came into this? Kessia finishes the route and that is it. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty much like watching a training ground match. Some of the stuff that Barcelona are doing are just testing the waters and testing the limits, really. Ricky, quick one two with him. Pulls it back towards us. We're going to find a little bit of space on the right-hand side. There's a lot of uh, Valencia bodies back in their own box here as we put one deep towards Raheem Sterling, which Coquelin will head clear. Is it going to stay in play or will it go out? Stays in play. I mean... I don't really know how they can do anything to change the game. They've not been good enough here tonight, but I think it's safe to say that we are into a Champions League final with Barcelona. And some of the stuff we played showcases why I think we're probably the best team in the world right now. Dembele inside. We've got a run being made from Kessia. We found him. Oh, he's just in front of him. Kick the air. Kick the air. Aurea to Sterling. Sterling to Artur. Back to Sterling. Look at this move from Barcelona as we hit the shot as well. That had movement. That had a lot of movement. And Neto saved it. Good save from the Brazilian. Artur, short corner. Here we go again. Barcelona looking yet again to threaten. As Ricky, quick one, two. Get the curler as well. And it's close, but it's not there. It's going to be the end of the game, guys, though. We should win this one now. Should? We've got two minutes to go. What am I talking about? We've definitely won this one. Dembele. Still, still. Dembele finds us. We're on the right foot. Into the box. <laughs> Under the challenge, went down. Nothing given by the ref, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Barcelona through to a Champions League final because there is absolutely no way we lose the second leg by more than five goals. It just won't happen. Ah, uh, feel so bad for Valencia's fans. They just didn't show up tonight. They had their chances and they did not take them. Look at those match facts. 4-0 for Barcelona. And that is, my friends, going to end off today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you all so much for your continued support on the channel. Really appreciate it. I always say it, you guys are incredible. We will pick up next episode against Espanyol in the derby. Three more games to come in La League, plus the second leg against Valencia, and then the Copa de España and the Champions League final could do the treble this season. That would be some way to end off a career at Barcelona before we move on to the next stage. If you're around here though and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below, guys. We upload every single day at 4 p.m. and sometimes a second video at 6 p.m. So if you want to be notified whenever new videos go live as well, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. 32 goals in 33 games. I will see you all next time out for the next episode of the series. Catch you all then, guys. Adios.